how to keep a track of youtube analytics with google sheets automatically without any coding so in this video i'll show you that how to get the views and subscribers data of your youtube channel into the google sheets automatically that to every day so that whenever someone wants to track the performance of your youtube channel you do not have to share the access of your youtube studio simply share the access of the spreadsheet in which you are maintaining the records on the daily basis and we are going to do that by setting up an automation in between youtube and google sheets application and believe me this automation doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge any non technical person can also set this automation for themselves want to learn how you can do that come with me and i'll show you the whole process step by step so this is my youtube channel analytics and i want to fetch the views and subscribers data into the spreadsheet along with the date on the daily basis for that i'll have to build a connection in between youtube and google sheets and i am going to do that with the help of pably connect which is an amazing integration and automation software using which you can connect multiple applications and automate your tasks you can also reach here by typing pably.com/connect i will also attach this link into my description box now if If you are a new user of Pably Connect, you will have to sign up for free, where you will also get free task in your account that to every month to test these kinds of amazing automation. I'm already an existing user of Pably Connect, so that is why I'm clicking on sign in, clicked on access now, and you will see how I will reach to the dashboard of Pably Connect. Now, firstly, you will have to click on this blue button that is create workflow, and simply provide a random name to your automation to your workflow. So let's say I'm providing the name. as get views and subscribers from youtube and add to google sheets now click on create and now you will find two boxes in front of you these are actually trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say send an email via gmail application and here according to our use case where i want to fetch the details of youtube application in google sheets application so generally Generally, we always select the applications in which we are setting up an automation. But here, in this case, I want to execute this automation on the daily basis because I want the daily stats here along with the date. So instead of selecting YouTube as the first application, I am going to select the schedule feature of Pably Connect, which is an amazing feature via which you can schedule your automation, schedule your workflows according to your choice. Here you can see it is asking how often you want to run your workflow. So I would like to run my workflow. every day let's say you want to run it once or maybe in a specific day of the week you can do the same okay so i want to run this every day maybe on 10:30 a.m. in the morning okay so i have uh, set the timing and here you can see my automation has been scheduled for every day and the time will be based on your account time so now once the automation is going to execute on 10:30 what should be done it should fetch the channel stats from the youtube so that is why youtube will be my next application next action application and after selecting the youtube in action events since i want to get the channel start so that is why i will select this particular action event i have that is get channel stats now i am going to connect to my youtube channel with the pably connect so that first i am going to capture the channel stats here in the pably connect and then i am going to share the same stats on google sheets with the help of pably connect only okay so you'll have to click on add a new connection click on connect with youtube and provide the access of your youtube channel from here and do not Don't worry. Pably Connect is hundred percent safe. Your data is hundred percent safe with Pably Connect. Now click on Continue, and you will see how the authorization will be successful and how your channel will be connected. Now after the connection, it is asking for the YouTube channel ID. Okay, so enter the YouTube channel ID here to retrieve the channel stats. So from where you will get the channel ID here in this particular URL, you can find your channel ID. And if you will open this channel in a U tab, in 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 the new tab, I'm sorry for that. In the new tab, you will find your channel ID at the end of this URL. Okay, so I'm going to copy this ID and pasting it here. And if I'll click on this button, you will see that how. the channel stats will be immediately fetched up here as a response here let me show you the details one by one so here i have all the details here you can see it is showing the title of our channel that is this okay this is the channel launch date and here we have other details and i want 
I'm looking for the channel uh, views and the subscribers and here exactly the data which I was looking for the views and the subscriber you must be thinking why the data is very less because this is just a testing channel which I have created just to show you how the automations can be created so that is why I just have a very lesser number of views now I just want to share this particular data into the Google sheet so that is why the next application I'll select as the Google sheets and here I am going to select the Google sheets and after selecting the Google sheets in the action event since I want to add the new row first and in that specific row I am going to add all the data so that is why I am going to select this particular particular action even again we are going to connect our Google Sheets with Pabli connect okay so you can provide the access of your Google Sheets and don't worry again Pabli connect well your data is 100% save with Pabli connect click on continue and you will see that how your Google Sheets will be also connected immediately with the Pabli connect all right I'll have to wait for that and you can see it is connected now since we are connected whatever the spreadsheets are available into my Google Sheets account are visible here I just need to select that specific sheet in which I would like to add the data so I have the sheet name as YouTube channel analytics let me search for the same well here is that specific sheet YouTube channel analytics and as soon as I'm going to select this spreadsheet here you will see whatever the columns I have added here the same column will be reflected here also the date the views and the subscribers added okay now as I have told you that I have already fetched the views and the subscribers data okay but from where I will get the date basically the date of the daily stats because I haven't received any date here as far as I remember okay so uh, I do not have the current date so how I am going to do that don't worry with the help of Pabli connect we can also fetch the current date okay so you just need to add one more action step before your Google Sheets step and search for the date and time formatter here and this is an amazing feature of Pabli Connect via which you can perform various kind of operations within your date. I want to fetch the current date so that is why I am selecting this particular action event. Now I'll be connecting, I'll be clicking on this connect button and you will see it will ask me few details in which particular format you want to fetch the date. So I want to fetch the date in DDMM YY format and I do not want to include any time along with the date. Clicking on save and send test request and see, you will see that how it will give me the current date. Okay, here you can see it is giving me the date. Okay, now I am going to add this particular date here in this particular field. How I don't need to manually copy and paste the data here. Okay. If I'll click on this particular field, all right, I'll have to first to save this particular step. Then only you will see that how the data will be started showing. Now I'll click on this particular field. You will see that the above data is actually visible here in the drop down. So I have mapped the date successfully. Again, it is asking for the views. So I have fetched the views in this particular step. So I'm going to open this particular step data. And here you will see the views and the subscribers data. Alright, so here I have the views data, I have mapped it successfully and finally I am going to map the subscribers data here, okay, and you can even search for the same data directly, okay, so here I have the subscribers data. And I'm mapping this all data because whenever this automation will work in the real time, these details, these value will be replaced automatically because I'm mapping the data. If I will provide this data manually, the data will remain same. So that is why the mapping is important here because with the help of mapping only this automation is going to take place in real time. The data will be replaced automatically in the real time. Now clicking on this button, save and send test request and you will see the response has been received. If I'll go back to my spreadsheet and you will see the data has also added let me minimize it let me correct the formatting okay I do not want any extra color here I have the date the views and the subscribers so now onwards what will happen on the daily basis th this automation will execute at 10 30 in the morning and whatever the stats it will find out into the YouTube channel of the yesterdays it will fetch the data here into this particular spreadsheet okay so this is how you can completely automate this process and you just need to set this automation inside Pabli Connect once and after that everything is going to happen in the back end. Pabli Connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end. You do not have to do anything manually. I'm also going to attach this shareable link of my workflow into my description box so that if you want to clone this workflow into your account, you can click on that particular link, sign up for free in the Pabli Connect from this link and the same workflow will be cloned into your account that too for free.
Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabbly Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabbly.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabbly Connect and for the latest updates of Pabbly Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.